This is not canon to Bomania lore. It's not lore, you dunkass. Hello there, and welcome to the ASMR Factory. My name is Michael Guy Bowen, and I'll be your guide as you explore the exciting world of autonomous nasty, sensational, meridistic repose. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mr. Bowen, can you tell us about the ASMR Factory? Why, of course, child. I've brought a few of my friends to help you experience maximum tingles, and we'll be taking you through a wide variety of different triggers. All in all, we've got lots of fun prepared for you today, so just sit back, relax, and let the tingles help you drift away, away, away. Hi. I'm Fred, and I'm Marvin, Fred's brother, and we're brothers. You're listening to Bumper the Tingles, and we've got a great show for you today. Fred, when you're right, you're right. I happen to be eating soup, but for you, I'll keep going. That's our show. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I got it. 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 Well, here we are again, Sullivan. You had the gall to come to me in my ASMR factory and expect to get off easy. Well, it's not gonna happen, Sullivan, I can tell you that much. But listen here, Sullivan. I can still cut you a deal. I could cut you a deal if you were talking to me. But you're not talking to me, Sullivan. You're just sitting there, with a glazed look on your face, trapped in some sort of tingle-induced coma. And I don't like that, Sullivan. You want to know why I don't like that? Because I could be at home right now, Sullivan. I could be eating a little bag of Japanese candies that I ordered from Amazon. I could be running a rake through a miniature zen garden. I could be opening up a brand new packet of phloem and letting the individual phloem pellets run through my fingers and squish together in a phloemy coalescence. I could be giving myself a haircut right now, Sullivan, filling up both of my ear canals with shaving cream. I could be doing that right now. I could be performing unlicensed cranial nerve exams on various household animals. I could be developing a new form of communication based on chewing cubes of raw meat at varying intensities. I could be going to see my mother with a book of pressed butterflies, Sullivan, page after page of cold, dead insects, Sullivan. I could be reading through old dream diaries, crying over nightmares I had when I was just a boy because I'm willing to do anything, including reliving the unending horror that was my childhood to distract myself from my crippling addiction to ASMR. I've had it up to here with how much I ASMR, Sullivan. I need hobbies to distract myself from it. I've had it up to here with you and that glazed look on your face and our mutual addiction to ASMR, Sullivan. So you know what? I could make a deal with you, Sullivan. I could work something out. You, me, and my 3DO microphone, Sullivan. We could work out a deal with the tingles. You, me, a makeshift green screen, Sony Vegas Pro Movie Studio 14, and a crisp, unopened bag of ionized crystals. All of these things and more, Sullivan. That doesn't seem to have swayed you, huh? Well, you've left me no choice, Sullivan. I guess you're gonna have to deal with my partner. Remember him, Sullivan? Uh, uh, uh. The ASMR will return after these short messages.